on the previous slides the most popular measure of central tendency namely the population mean mu has been introduced and illustrated. It is also known as the expected value and occurs in most applications. But there are two other measures of central tendency namely the population median and the population mode. The population median we have seen before it is a measure of central tendency that's a special case of a percentile and it is denoted by X with the subscript 0 0.5. Economists for example sometimes prefer to work with the population median instead of the population mean because a lot of the distributions that they work with have very long right hand tails. If you look for example at the income annual income for a individual there are some people that have huge annual incomes and those will skew the population mean but they will not skew the the population median remember the popular word population is out here to differentiate these from the sample median and the sample mean Likewise, there is a third measure of central tendency, and that is the population mode. The population mode is the value of x in the support of script A, where f of x assumes its maximum value. For example, the most frequently occurring value for a discrete distribution. On the next slide, we'll compare these three measures of central tendency for a particular probability distribution.